Is the Sarasota real estate market heading for a shift? Stay tuned to find out. Hi, I'm Matt Bohannon with House Match, and this is our 2019 market preview. So as we end 2018, we're looking into 2019, we need to figure out, well, what's 2019 going to bring? So there's some key indicators uh, that we look at as real estate agents to figure out, well, is this market shifting and how do we prepare our buyers and sellers to best take advantage of it? So one of the first things we take a look at is those months of inventory. So that months of inventory, what we're looking at is how, if there was every home on the market sold and no new listings came out, how long would it take for all of those homes to sell? So where we're currently at is about four months of inventory. So if you look at historically, that's still considered a seller's market. So that's a good statistic to, to look at going into 2019. So now we're going to have to keep a real strong eye on that to see is that going up or is that going down? If we start to see that months of inventory creep up, we know we're heading into a shifting market and we have to price our homes more aggressively to get them sold. So the next thing we're going to look at is new active listings. So what we want to see there, if we're heading into a shifting market, we're going to see more new listings come on the market, which is also going to cause that months of inventory to drive up. So last month we saw new active listings go up 9.8%, so which is a pretty significant jump. And then finally, one of the big keys we're going to look at too is that median sales price. So that median sales price is going to show us, okay, if things are creeping up, that's good. Homes are appreciating. People are gaining equity. People are buying and selling these homes. So it's, it's good. It's just, just like inflation usually follows right along with it. Now, when we start to see that median price creep down, we know we're in a shifting market because people are having affordability issues, which is causing the homes to sell for less than what they were listed for, and then driving that median sales price down. So when that median sales price goes down, the months of inventory is going up, new listings are coming up, we know we're in a shifting market. Now, how do buyers and sellers take advantage of a shifting market? You know, right now, when you see that four months of inventory, you think seller's market. So great, it's a great time to sell but it's also a great time to buy because as new listings come on, you see things are sitting there a little bit more. You have a little bit more wiggle room, you know, with your offers and things like that. You're not fighting over the same listing that everyone else is looking at. Now as a seller, you know, in that seller's market, the ball's in your court. Now, as it shifts into a median market or a stable market, now you need to be more aggressive, aggressive with your pricing, aggressive with your upgrades, so if your home is not looking as good or better than new construction, what's to stop somebody from going out and buying that new home versus the pre-owned home at the same price? So you're now entering a price war and a beauty competition, and you want to win both. Now, if you can do that, your home's still going to sell quick. You know, you'll see the homes, when you take a look at your comparables, you're going to see the homes that sell fast sold for a great price and were in great condition. So it's still a great time to be a buyer and a seller in this market. And it's always a good time to be in real estate. You just have to have the right people in your corner to give you the best advice. So if you guys have any questions on what's coming in 2019, or you want some more detailed information, um, feel free to reach out. Give me a call. It's Matt Bohannon with the House Match team. Hope you're having a great day.